If you don't test driven development, as you move to Elm, you may discover that compared to, say, JavaScript or other languages, you need to write far fewer tests. As you use Elm, you should consider a failing type check to be equivalent to a failing test. The compiler makes, via formal methods, a great many constraints on how our code works. So, it is possible, in many cases, to not really worry about writing an explicit unit test because the function may well be fully constrained by the compiler. So, for example, take this function here. All right, first, this is a micro module my tuple, but it broadly represents similar to the tuple module. And it takes a three part tuple instead of a two part tuple. That's really not important. And first, simply return, it takes a three part tuple, it returns the first element. And it has a type, a tuple of a, comma, b, comma, c, and returns a. And you can see the implementation here. A <clears throat> underscore integer, we don't care about this tool. Returns a. Now I'm going to make an assertion here that's half a lie and half true. It is impossible to write a unit test for this function. And you're thinking, hold on, I can write a unit test, and you might think exactly what the test would look like. That test. Um, that test. Because I'm going to take that base code very careful. Where you say, okay, my tuple first, and you give it a tuple and you expect the first element will maybe even write a fuzz test that does roughly the same thing. And of course that is a test, and it would in fact test that code. But I think a more a slightly more subtle statement, and of course more accurate, would be it is impossible to write a test for this function that would fail while the code compiles. If the type checker passes, and you don't use debug.crash, um, with that we're ignoring that, that one statement thing. Any implementation of this function that passes the type checker will always pass a unit test. And any unit test that would pass this function will be redundant to the type checker. So what does this mean? Well, First of all, writing an occasional test that you don't need is fine. Um, but there are many functions, for example, most of the map functions, map maybe, and so on, where the constraint of the type signature of the function forms a test that is as robust or more robust than any unit test or even property-based test that you might want to use. So consider using the type system, it's there, you know, you're paying the cost for it, and it limits your actions in terms of how you build your code, how you design your code, and how you ensure the correctness of your code, because a great number of invariants in your code will be considered and set up regardless of whether or not you actually do anything to test them explicitly through a unit test, and save the unit test for those cases where you have to check on some of you can't specify the types. For example, that date math is correct. You, know, you cannot specify that, you know, which years are leap years and which ones are not in the Elm type system in an easy way. Um, so the question of, you know, if you had a function, is this a valid date? You could not specify that fully in a type. Uh, in a language like Elm. In other languages like Idris, you can, but in Elm, you cannot. Um, so, that you want to test for. On the other hand, this function, first, the type signatures is really a complete specification of it, and the unit test serves no particular purpose um, besides maybe making somebody feel good, and I try not to write tests just to make somebody feel good. <laughs>